In mathematics, Carathéodory's existence theorem says that an ordinary differential equation has a solution under relatively mild conditions. It is a generalization of Peano's existence theorem. Peano's theorem requires that the right-hand side of the differential equation be continuous, while Carathéodory's theorem shows existence of solutions in a more general sense for some discontinuous equations. The theorem is named after Constantine Carathéodory. Topic: <inaudible> Introduction. Consider the differential equation y t equals f t y t display style y t equals f t y t with initial condition y t 0 equals y 0 display style y t underscore 0 equals y underscore 0 where the function f is defined on a rectangular domain of the form r equals t y element of r times r n t minus t 0 a y minus y 0 b display style r equals t y in math b f r times math b f r caret n t t underscore 0 l e q a y y underscore 0 l e q b Peano's existence theorem states that if f is continuous, then the differential equation has at least one solution in a neighborhood of the initial condition. However, it is also possible to consider differential equations with a discontinuous right-hand side, like the equation y t equals h t y zero equals zero. Display style y t equals h t quad y zero equals zero, where h denotes the heaviside function defined by h t equals zero if t zero one if t greater than zero. Display style h t equals begin cases zero and text if t l e q zero one and text if t greater than zero end cases. It makes sense to consider the ramp function y t equals zero t h s d s equals zero if t zero t if t greater than zero display style y t equals int underscore zero caret t h's mathrm d s equals begin cases zero and text if t l e q zero t and text if t greater than zero end cases as a solution of the differential equation. Strictly speaking though, it does not satisfy the differential equation at t equals 0 because the function is not differentiable there. This suggests that the idea of a solution be extended to allow for solutions that are not everywhere differentiable, thus motivating the following definition. A function y is called a solution in the extended sense of the differential equation y equals f t y display style y equals f t y with initial condition y t zero equals y zero display style y t underscore zero equals y underscore zero. If y is absolutely continuous, y satisfies the differential equation almost everywhere, and y y satisfies the initial condition. The absolute continuity of y implies that its derivative exists almost everywhere.
Topic: <laughs> Statement of the theorem. Consider the differential equation y t equals f t y t y t zero equals y zero Display style y t equals f t y t quad y t underscore zero equals y underscore zero with f display style f defined on the rectangular domain r equals t y t minus t 0 a y minus y 0 b Display style R equals T Y T T underscore zero L E Q A Y Y underscore zero L E Q B If the function F Display style F satisfies the following three conditions F T Y Display style f t y is continuous in y. Display style y for each fixed t. Display style t f t y. Display style f t y is measurable in t. Display style t for each fixed y. Display style y. There is a Lebesgue integrable function m t. Display style m t t minus t zero a. Display style t t underscore zero l e q a such that f t y m t display style f t y l e q m t for all t y element of R display style t y in R. Then the differential equation has a solution in the extended sense in a neighborhood of the initial condition. A mapping f r r n display style f colon r to math b f r caret n is said to satisfy the Carathéodory conditions on R if it fulfills the condition of the theorem. <laughs> Uniqueness of a solution Assume that the mapping f satisfies the Carathéodory conditions on r display style r and there is a lebesgue integrable function k t display style k t t minus t 0 a display style T T underscore zero L E Q A such that F T Y one 
minus f t y 2 k t y 1 minus y 2 Display style F T Y underscore one F T Y underscore two L E Q K T Y underscore one Y underscore two for all T Y one element of R T Y two element of R display style T Y underscore one in R T Y underscore two in R. Then there exists a unique solution Y T equals Y T T zero Y zero Display style y t equals y t t underscore zero y underscore zero to the initial value problem y t equals f t y t y t zero equals y 0 display style y t equals f t y t quad y t underscore 0 equals y underscore 0 moreover if the mapping f display style f is defined on the whole space r times r n display style math bf r times math bf r caret n and if for any initial condition t 0 y 0 element of r times r n display style t underscore 0 y underscore 0 in math BF r times math BF r carrot n there exists a compact rectangular domain r t 0 y 0 r times R N display style R underscore T underscore zero Y underscore zero subset Math BF R times Math BF R carrot N such that the mapping F display style F satisfies all conditions from above on R T Zero Y zero Display style R underscore T underscore zero Y underscore zero. Then the domain E R two plus N Display style E subset Math BF R carrot two plus N of definition of the function y t t 0 y 0 display style y t t underscore 0 y underscore 0 is open and y t t 0 y 0 
display style y t t underscore zero y underscore zero is continuous on e display style e topic example Consider a linear initial value problem of the form y t equals a t y t plus b t y t zero equals Y zero display style y t equals a t y t plus b t quad y t underscore zero equals y underscore zero. Here, the components of the matrix valued mapping a r r n times n display style a colon math bf r to math bf r caret n times n and of the inhomogeneity b r r n display style b colon math bf r to math bf r caret n are assumed to be integrable on every finite interval. Then, the right-hand side of the differential equation satisfies the Carathéodory conditions and there exists a unique solution to the initial value problem. <laughs> Notes <laughs>